Hello! Today, I'm going to be making a tutorial on the Cool World Randomizer that I created. So the first thing that you want to do is just open up a web browser and navigate to coolerworkshop.net. Then head over to the Tools section and go to Make PSX ISO. What this tool allows you to do is that it allows you to extract and build the game and its files, which is required for this randomizer. So head over to the Releases tab and download the Windows version right here. I'll download the zip file, so just go to your downloads folder or whatever I downloaded it to, and just right click on it and go to extract here with WinRAR 7 zip, whatever you want. And you just delete the zip file. So if you go in here and into the bin folder, you're going to find two executable files. One is for actually extracting the files from a bin image, and one is for actually building it. So first, we're going to need the game itself. So I'm going to use Cooler World as an example. So you just paste over the bin just like this. Uh, you don't need the Q file, only the bin, because the bin actually contains the files, and I'm just gonna rename it to Kula.bin. So then you wanna open up command prompt in this directory. You can do that by clicking up here and typing in CMD, just like that. And then if I just run dump psx iso.exe, and just press enter, you can see what's required. So first you need the path to where the files will actually be extracted to. So I'll just create a folder in here called output. So just run the executable file and then you do dash X and then the, uh, the folder. So dash X output. So I'll actually put the game files in here and then you need to specify the path for the structure XML. So I'll go ahead and explain what that is in a second, but for now I'm just going to place it into the output folder. So you just, you just do dash S right here and then where you actually want to put it. So I'll put it in the output folder and I'll name it structure.xml and then just the name of the bin image. So cooler.bin. And as you can see, I put all of the game files and that structure.xml into the output folder that I specified. So if I open this up, basically all it is, is it's just all the entries of all the files and how they're stored so that it actually knows how to build the image. So next, we're gonna need the actual tool itself. So if we go back to Cooler Workshop and we go to the Cooler Randomizer, you just head over to Releases and download it. And then go back into the downloads folder and just extract it. If we open it up, this is what it looks like. So first we're going to need the base directory, which is just going to act as a backup and the actual game directory. So we're going to go back and to make PSX ISO. I'm going to copy this output folder and we're going to name this backup. And we're going to name the original game. So basically this right here is going to serve as a backup. This is going to be the unedited version. And this is what um, the randomizer is actually going to randomize. And this is the one that you're actually going to build. So you go to select the base directory and select the backup. So we'll select the backup. And then for the game directory, we're going to select the game. So this is what's actually going to get randomized in here. And then you can choose what you want to be randomized. Levels is just the order of the levels and how it gets played. The themes is like the skybox, the tile set. It's pretty. Yep. And then uh, the sounds is just all the sound effects in the game. And then the models are the models. So then you can just generate a random seed. You know, you could give this to somebody else and look at the exact same randomization as you. And then you just click randomize. And this is the randomized game. And then if you go into here, you can see that some of the files have been edited because they've been randomized. So that's how you know that it worked. So now we actually need, want to take this and actually build the game. So we can delete this uh, bin file. And now we're going to run make PSX ISO. So you just run make PSX ISO.exe. And if we run that, all we got to do is just specify the um, the XML file. So make PSX ISO, and we're going to go to that game folder. And then we call it structure.xml. This spits out a Q and a bin file, and this is the actual game. So now we can you can load in something like EPSXE or DuckStation, whatever you choose. I'll just use DuckStation. Just go to downloads here, or sorry, in here, bin, and then open what it generated. If you load this up, it should be randomized. And there you go. As you can see, everything is randomized. The sound effects, the models, the levels, and everything.
that's that. And if you ever want to re-randomize it, all you got to do is just go back to the tools, generate another seed, click randomize, and then just rebuild the image. Over right. And now it's been rebuilt. So now you can just restart it. There you go. Completely new randomization. So, uh, that's that's that. So, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, goodbye.